So day five of us working on the bus, we framed up the other bathroom wall here. And we're getting ready to start putting some backer board up, some concrete cement board. And have a four foot wide bathroom. It's basically four foot by five foot, I believe. If I remember, <laughs> I forgot now. So we measured the ceiling height every two inches to be able to transfer our arc. And now he's marked those over here and he's playing connect the dots with the marker. And that will give us our ceiling arc. So we're going to move his black tank setup that's in here now and move it back and over. That's going to give us to be able to adapt the whatever style this sewer dump thing is it's all one piece and it comes out of the tank it's different bolt up pattern than the new stuff uh and we don't want a sewer hose falling off so we're going to be able to put a regular sewer uh a hose adapter and then another gate valve on there but we just got to move it back in order to do that so we've removed it from the unscrewed it from the floor hopefully this tank doesn't leak it looks like it's in good shape um so we're going to slide it all back make some disconnections on the plumbing here uh to be able to do that so but anyways yeah that'll uh That'll give us the ability to get his toilet hooked up here soon. Um, hopefully, maybe even tonight, and go from there. <laughs> uh, I don't know if I can see in it. Oh, it's just a little, a little. There's a pile at the back. <laughs> Something was living in there. <laughs> <laughs> oh, hey, roll a Teflon tape. Okay, pull that thing out. Why were you standing in the landing zone? <laughs> I hate round water tanks. I think they're such a waste of space on an RV. I probably wouldn't have used galvanized either. <laughs> I, I, last time I checked, that's probably not good to drink out of. Yeah. I don't know. Animals drink out of galvanized things. <laughs> good point. Okay. We are marking the toilet flange position. Getting ready to penetrate through the floor there, and that is going to be um, 15 and a half inches from the side wall, and we did 13 inches from the back wall. Uh, 12 inches is kind of minimum for codes, but we gave an extra inch just because we have a curved wall back there. But we don't want to take up too much room because the shower drain is going to be on this side over here. But uh, that'll be nice. Fit in the bathroom. So we've got all the... It's looking good. Is it working? Yeah, I just got a hot piece of metal on my tongue. <laughs> Okay, we got the toilet flange in. That's why they'll be able to be mounted soon. We have to first test his black tank though to make sure that it's still waterproof before we start putting stuff into it. <laughs> Where's the fun and adventure in that? Yeah. But uh, the bathroom's looking good. So I was starting to coat the whole bathroom with a liquid membrane, just so if any water does get behind anything, it can't soak into it. We'll send it down to the shower drain eventually. Okay, so we've plumbed this up, I'm guessing. We removed this piece of attachment here um, and that fit right on there. So we're going to try this tank and hope that it doesn't leak. How many people have bought an old RV and tried the black tank thing and hope that it doesn't leak? Probably a lot of people, but uh, we'll find out. Okay, so here's where we're going to fill it with water. And if you see Tyler thrown up and running, it's probably leaking. <laughs> it's probably leaking. Um, you can go through the... You, yeah, whichever part you want. Now make sure there's nothing here you don't mind getting poo on. Oh, dude, 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 dude. For real? Well... <laughs> That's a bad idea. So that 
pipe there goes straight into there. No, it doesn't. Yes, it does. Yeah. Follow it across right there. So squirt into that. Go through the hole. It doesn't line up in that anymore. Well, it will if you do it. I didn't need to get squirted with shit drain water. That wasn't drain, it was fresh. <laughs> now, who knows if they actually sealed that thing. Now it's gonna be hard to tell if it's leaking too, now that you sprayed water everywhere. And that was just a vent, so who knows if they even used glue on that part. Sounds like it's going in there, right? Yeah. No obvious leaks yet. I need to hook the sewer hose up to it though, so we take that cap off today. Yeah. So far, I don't see any leaks coming out of the bottom. How much water are we going to pump in here? I think you should fill it up as much shit as you're going to put in it. Because <laughs> you don't want to know if it leaks. Yeah, I would suck to figure out about halfway up if that cracking it. Yeah. I think we probably should get to the cap again. Why would we do it now before it gets too full? I can see the water level building in the tank. Yeah, that plastic is probably very fragile. Yeah, but it's not moving. It just pulls, it's a flat blade valve. Yeah, I'm aware, it's not pulling now. So far it's not leaking, you see a drip coming from the top, that's because we're tired of sprayed water everywhere inside here at the wrong time to leak test something. Uh, we did free up this valve right here. I had to use some silicroil on it, pull it in and out a few times. So you see a few drips coming from here, but it's, it's from the top of the tank where he sprayed the water. And I can see the level building in the black tank right now. Nothing is coming out anywhere that, that though. Well, you can see the level is above the fittings, so that all looks good. So far, the only drips that I see again is where we accidentally sprayed water all over the top. I wasn't expecting that kind of water pressure. I figured it was going to be a nice, easy flow to go down. And Got the toilet flange ready to go in. Flooring is in the bathroom. It is a waterproof, 100% waterproof floor. And we also put the membrane underneath of it just in case. Okay, we're getting ready to cut out the sunken shower part of the floor here. It's installing the toilet. We got the cutout for the sunken shower. Okay, the black tank connection is made. The toilet is, just needs its fresh water supply now. Okay, flush it, Tyler. I don't see much water coming in. Hold that valve. I'll just, I'll just still air in the line. Okay, nice. Now it has a working toilet. It has some more liquid membrane down on the, where the shower, drop down shower is gonna go. So we're getting ready, we're working on installing this diesel heater here in Tyler's Bay. And we've got it ducted up where we're gonna duct up into his bedroom and into his bathroom for now. Uh, it runs off 12 volt. These things are awesome. I've got one in my bus. It's a real simple installation. It just has a air intake and an exhaust on the bottom. I don't know if you can see that down there or not. And we're gonna run the pipes to that and we'll have it all going. It's an hour job though. Tyler's just hooking up the real quick, the little fuel line on the bottom and then the intake and the exhaust. This will be about five more minutes, I think. He's just finishing up his electrical connections on there now. We don't have house batteries yet. 
He's got to get some Battleborn batteries. We're going to do a video talking about the, the whole house setup, how he's going to do it and everything. But uh, for now, I have this 112-volt house battery sitting around, the lead acid one that he can use. Let's see how charged it is. I haven't used it in a year. It was charged when I put it away. <laughs> so yeah, he's just going to set that under there on the charger tonight. Okay, he's just turning it on here. The fuel pump has just kicked on. <laughs> 